So for daily combined and cleaning, when you're all done using the bench for the day, you spray it down with this, which is a diluted form that we have the whole bottle, the, the concentrated form in the main lab, and you dilute it into the smaller bottle to bring in here. So you spray and then wipe it with a paper towel. And then make sure you get the edges of the bench where you touched as well, just to keep everything super clean so that nothing contaminates the larva or the eggs. And then you're all set for the bench and then you just have to mop. To bleach and clean the floor in the confinement, we have this mop bucket sitting out in the confinement labeled with our lab name and bleach only so that people don't put other things in it. And then you come into the autoclave room. Under the sink is bleach also labeled with our name on it. And if there's not bleach under the sink, there's usually extra bleach in the main lab under our bench. So I just put a layer at the bottom. I usually count to like five seconds for a pour. So you want about the 10% bleach solution. the trays we need this sponge that lives up here on the shelf so it's safe from soap i change the sponge about every two months or if i think that something got on it that's not supposed to be on it i change it um extra sponges are in this drawer down here okay so to clean the trays you keep the water on let it get hot like as hot as you can stand to test it hot and then you always scrub the trays with the abrasive side of the sponge. So I like to keep them stacked here. And then when I'm done, I put them behind me. So I like to get it wet first. Make sure your sponge is wet all the time, which is why I leave the water running. Um, and then you just scrub every surface of the tray. So like the top, the edges, the sides. And make sure you scrub this section really well because dirt cakes up around the corners right here and sometimes it's hard to get off. 
So make sure you really do that well. And then you want to scrub the bottom. And then I switch sides like this onto the other side of the sink. So you can scrub the top of the other side. or in the Kinlaren. So today we're going to autoclave these trays so that they get nice and clean. To autoclave them we need a very large biohazard bag that lives down here under the bench and I mean like very large like person height so that it fits them in it. So once we have our trays in our autoclave bag we need to put the trays in the bag. I find that the easiest way to do this is to put the trays upside down like this on the counter and then just flip the bag on top of them and then flip it loop the bag so it's closed and then stick it in the autoclave it goes on gravity one the cycle's 45 minutes and then they're all set all right so now they are all set and the reason we put them in the bag in the autoclave is not because they're biohazardous it's to protect them from anything in the autoclave that might get on them because the eggs and larvae can be really sensitive to what's on the trays, like soap or other debris. So we just want to make sure that they're not going to be affected by the tray. Alright, so to clean a cage after you've frozen the mosquitoes and after like the blood feed and the egg lay and all of that, um, you put this in the freezer, let them freeze. I like to take it out of the freezer like five minutes before I'm going to clean it just so things like thaw out so it's easier to get out of the cage. Um, so anything that has blood on it, has to go in biohazard waste. So these two petri dishes have blood on them. They go in the biohazard bin over here. The paper towel on the bottom also goes in biohazard. So I fold up the paper towel at the bottom, trying to keep as many mosquitoes as possible on it, just so you have less to clean out of the cage. water into it and like wipe everything out with a paper towel but I like to use the eye cleaning thing like a sprayer and so I tip it like this and then I spray the mosquitoes down from the sides and around the base and I spray all the mosquitoes out of the front net so it cleans the bottom the sides and the front net Spray 
You want to get some paper towels. And you wipe down all the edges, all the sides, just to get all the extra debris and junk off of them to make it as clean as possible so that it doesn't get gross in the long term. So again, make sure you pay really close attention to the bottom edges because that's where all the residue sits. Like for example, like that came off of the bottom edge just now after I had already sprayed it. So this part's really important. And then you get the front section, the front neck. Make sure you get all the corners and the bottom. If something is sticky, like sometimes the top edges get a little sticky, you can spray it with ethanol and clean it off um, because it will evaporate and won't hurt the mosquitoes. And then you want to clean the top. Again, paying attention to the metal parts because that's where things stick. And make sure you wipe the neck that they get blood feed on really well so that there's no like leftover blood residues. This is all good. Check the seals, sometimes they get loose. And then this can go in the autoclave at gravity once for the 45 minute cycle that the trays go on. I usually flip the net into the inside of it like this and autoclave it with the latches clipped in secondary containment and then you're all good.